Hey guys, welcome. So Debian 12 KDE Plasma. How would you like to have your own song play when you log in? I'll show you the complete procedure. I would also recommend uh, making a screenshot because I'm going to have this written for you so you can actually um, have a screenshot of it. But I will also demo this. Um, what I have in mind is, uh, first of all, I can't log out while filming, but this is what my current one uh, would sound like. And uh, I have a login sound folder that I made. So um, I can either use a, a Wave or OGG. So generally, this opens up with this tool, which I'm going to recommend. But uh, more importantly, I'm going to play that using VLC. And uh, maybe I should turn this down. So this is 14 seconds. And I'll show you about editing songs also in this video. Sorry about that. In either case, um, whatever I picked out of those two songs that I made as demos, uh, that would be playing as soon as I log in. If this interests you, then continue watching. I am filming in 1080, but my screen resolution is in 4K. Oh, by the way, the subscription logo is in the corner, well over 500 videos on all kinds of subject matter. And just remember this, Linux is for all ages. I even mentioned that in my mission statement. So let's cover this. How to add your own song to login in Debian 12 KDE. Again, screenshots are recommended. At any time, you can hit pause on this video and get out your screenshot tool providing, of course, you are most likely on a computer. And I generally recommend large screens on all of my videos, especially when I present information like this. Okay, generally most operating systems have screenshot tools. And hopefully you're running this on KDE Plasma and on the Debian 12. So the first thing I'm going to recommend that you install Auto City. What is that? Well, let's open up this tool. So in here, you can just do a search for that. A U D A city. It's a weird spelling, but what it does is you can use this tool for a lot of things. I've shown this before on other desktops. Um, I use it to actually cut up songs. In other words, take a long song and cut pieces out of it. People also use this piece of software to make ringtones by taking a song and chopping out so many seconds. And that's what we're going to do today. But install that and you can get that directly through the Discover Software Center. That's the only piece of software that you need other than songs. So I have something in mind. I have several albums in here and I can pick any one of these things. So I created a folder called Login Sound. So if I go to step two here, Go ahead and make yourself a folder and you can choose whatever name you want as long as you know what it is. Uh, login sound is what I thought was good. So what I did was I found a song out of here and I copied it and then jumped, dumped it right back into that login sound folder. So these are the originals, copies of the originals. And then I use this piece of software called Auto City and open that up open the song and then edit the time frames. I will show you this in a second. Now my recommendation is actually less than 30 seconds unless you want to listen to the whole song. Generally you can't stop it. It's just going to play. So whether you want to uh, do a 10 second slice or a 30 second slice, just be aware that the time frames. Because what I'm going to do is take a complete song and reduce it. Now this is important. You're going to use the export when you save the, the edit. You're going to do it either in OGG or WAV format. Because that's the only two formats that this, um, I believe that's the only two, but OGG is a good format to pick. And then we're going to open up the system settings, look for notifications, look for configure in the left pane at the bottom. And I will, I will be showing all this. And then uh, type in either login or just look in the menu there. You'll see Plasma Workspace. And then you're going to click on Configure Events. And then you're going to look for the login in that field. 
and it will most likely nothing will be selected. So you would gonna you click on that. Uh, the thing is called new session is started. So this is what you're looking for. And then once you click that on the lower part of the screen, you will say play a sound and it will more likely have nothing selected. You will slide on over to the right hand side and click the icon that looks like a folder. You navigate to your music folder and choose either OGG or WAV format. And again, have fun. So now I'm going to demo this. So I took a song and I'm basically in this path here. So I created the folder. I dumped these songs in here. They're in full format. And what I'm going to do is after I have Auto City installed, I can take the song and create one. Now I took this song and I converted part of it to OGG. So I'm going to actually open this up with VLC to let you see the time frames on it. Okay. You can see that's 15 seconds. Okay. And that's why I recommend short. Now this one here is the result of that. Now this one here is the full song. And this is the shortened version. And I also converted that into uh, the extension WAV. So this one here, using the same player, has been converted into also 14 seconds. Sorry about that. So I'm going to take the original song that I made this out of to let you see the procedure. We're going to use this piece of software. All right. If you've ever used this, that's great. If you never used it, basically, I'm going to walk you through the procedure. So what you're looking at is a waveform of the actual song in stereo. So if I hit the play button, it starts at zero and you can see the timeline right in here all the way up to three minutes and X amount of seconds. That's generally too long for your login sounds. But I have a bunch of choices when I deal with this. So you can see the intro is kind of dead zone and then it kind of produces that. So what I'm going to do is actually chop this part here by clicking my computer mouse. That's what I'm using. I'm not using a touchpad. Regular computer mouse, click and drag to the left. So that zone is highlighted on both channels. And then I'm going to use the delete key on my keyboard and that chops that out. So this is how I would start. Now at this point, you can see the timeline here is 15 seconds. I'm going to stop it right there. So you can go the whole song. If you do, you don't really need to edit this. You can just convert it. But I don't want to have to listen to that for three minutes during login. So what I'm going to do is make it shorter. I'll grab some time frame before the 15 second mark and click in here and then drag my mouse to the right and then hit delete. Now this would be less than 15 seconds. File, export. These two formats is what I recommend. This one here is probably a, a good selection. OGG, very small file usually. Okay, where do you want to save it to? So where is it highlighted? Well, I'm actually going to go music, login sound, open that up, OGG format, what type of quality, leave the defaults, hit save. Except I'm going to not replace that. I'm going to call that one 11. That way it's a different song. Okay, save. And um, that's the meta tag stuff. You can just leave that. Now, what I'm going to do is close this. It's going to ask me to save the project. I'm just going to say no, because I can always go back and edit that. Now I have two of these. One is gracefully one and gracefully 11. So let's look at that using VLC or whatever player you want to use. So that one's 13 seconds. And this one here is 15 seconds. Still the same song. Okay. So um, 
that's the example of editing. And again, you can do this with MP3s, uh, whatever you got for music. Auto City is pretty versatile. But if you wanted to use the whole song, let's uh, use this one, but let me turn the volume down first. I'll go with uh, 28. That's two minutes and 26 seconds. That's not what I want. Or maybe that's what you do, but you'll have to listen to the whole song during login. Okay, I, I did a shortened version here. 14 seconds. And it'll cut off, of course, because it's not playing the complete song, but it's sufficient for login. Now, how do we put those things into play? So generally what's going to happen after you do this, you can test it right away. Log out of your system and log back in. And when you log back in, it, it should start playing. Okay. So open up your system settings. And what you're going to look for is notifications. You're going to run over to this little configure box. I'll make this a little bit larger for you. I'm using a non-standard mouse pointer, as you probably have figured out. It's called Radioactive, as you're curious. I, I like to use it because it's a nice highlighter instead of that black one. Anyways, you hit configure. In here, you can either type in, log in, or just click Plasma Workspace. That's usually the easiest. Then you hit configure events. Okay. You'll find login. It's right here. This generally will be like this. That'll be, have, that'll be nothing here. You can click that and then go find your folder. This is already using hold my hand. This one here. Okay. And you can see that it has to play the whole thing and I'm using wave this time. But I clicked it twice. Okay, that can get confusing if you click that twice. FYI. It doesn't do that twice on login, but I'm just saying if you do it here. All right, so we're going to go with this little symbol right here. And click that. And now you can see that I'm actually in that, but generally you're not on the first pass. So I'm going to find my login sound. And there's the gracefully one, 11 the other one, and you can see that it's not finding the MP3s. So this time I'm going to pick that one and hit open. And that puts the complete path in here. Click it once, not twice. And that's what you're going to hear. That may be too soft. But gracefully one, I think, was 14 seconds. Okay, so that's generally what you want to do is you want to listen to it first, then hit apply. Once you do that, that becomes your new login sound. In this case, a song. And now you're done. One more recap on this, folks. Do a screenshot if you like. This is the full procedure. There's probably other ways of doing it, but this is probably what I found is the easiest for all to understand. And again, get out your screenshot tool and more importantly, have fun and best regards. Linux is for all ages. Thank you for watching.